Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. If you're new, welcome here for the first time. I'm pleased you've joined me, or for the second time, whenever. If you're new, welcome, do please stick around. So, we're going to do our Take Free Envelope series today. A festive edition. And, but first, I just want to show you... Um, if you hop over to my coffee website, or coffee page, it's just where I blog, right? Um, I've scanned in some chimps that are in my freebies gallery. So, we've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. And these are on like an ivory at the minute, but like, if you wanted them on white, like, look, there's the blues on the white. They're much, like, sort of brighter. But, um, I was going to do them... Um, well, I have done them on here. Because I'm using them here. So, yeah, you just have to hop over to my um, coffee page, which is linked below. Go in the freebies gallery and right-click and save on any image that you want in there. Because that's why it's called the freebie. <laughs> Because, it, um, yeah, I just thought they're a nice little pre-Christmas gift and they like, we can use them in our projects together and that. So, take the envelopes festive edition. I've got two little ones and this big one. And they're just, when I put them together, they're just a little bit bigger than the whole one behind. But it's just... Such a minute little, look, if I try and get that in the centre, look at, like, the, it's not very much bigger, so I'm going to go with them, I think they'll be fine, um, I might even just be able to, if I stick them on here, just, yeah, cut, uh, I'm not sure, I might take a little bit off of one, and then um, push it inwards. Just the tiniest little silver. It's about. Well, I suppose I was I was thinking it's like about um, an eighth of an inch or whatever, but it's not. So I'm going to come in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to re-stick about there. So, because I haven't got any smaller than this, but the same depth and everything, which is what I wanted. So, if I've then got them on the inside, yep, that's a much better, much better scenario. I could even come out a little tiny bit more. It's literally, I think it was about an eighth of an inch. So, they fit perfectly now. I've just got to glue that down and hopefully, hope for the best. Oh, I can't get the <laughs> I couldn't get the um, thing out. But yeah, we I didn't need to lose a lot. So just trying to squeeze. I'm so gutted that I bought those bottles. It was really easy to squeeze with this type of cap. But I can't fit nothing in the top of them. I'm going to have to try and find some thinner head pins from somewhere. But where's my other pin? No, let's try it the other way. Nope. Right, so let's try and start getting... Oh, there it comes. And... I just need a thin bit just to reconnect my little envelope that I've cut. Just, you know, so if you can't find the right size, just trim down what you want because they're going to be hidden, really, anyway. They're just the bases. So, um, yeah, you've, you can cut them down or... I could have made two that fit on my envelope punch board, but I've literally thought about this second. 
<laughs> so yeah, I've just got the glue in there, finally. Let's pop that in there. Oh! Right. And yeah, it weren't much at all that I wanted to lose. So, yeah, I'll put that there. Maybe in a little tiny bit more. Right, line that up and line that up. Perfect. Right, so I'm better quickly stick that down. Get a bit more glue on there, on that flap. Now we can see exactly where we want it. It's all alright. Um, let's see, tiny little, tiny little bit there. Um, I'm gonna trim that. Oh, that's it. I don't like using them scissors, so I'm swapping. <laughs> I'm swapping what's on my hook. Right, that's better. And we just ink around them all. And then we'll, I'll show you where I'm going to stick them. But I want to get a base behind them. Oh, I've just seen I want some more glue in that bit. That's it. Just so that it stays as an envelope. <laughs> right. And yeah, I have this could either be on its like a standalone kind of ephemera folder gift kind of thing or it can be the back bit that I'm going to show you could be bound into a journal and it's just a journal insert which is probably how I'm going to make this one but you'll see the difference of the back bit that I'm on about and you can decide whether you want yours as like a little ephemera folder like to store certain ephemera or send to somebody as a gift or if you wanna make the back bigger crease it and add that bit so it can be sewn in and this is just a foldy and flippy kind of insert so yeah I'll show you both ways but I haven't started on the journal yet that this is going to go in but I thought I'll do a free take free envelopes because we haven't done one for a while have we and I wanted to show you that you can hop over to my coffee page and you don't have to um, join you like you don't have to be, like yeah you don't have to join you don't have to um donate or you don't have to do nothing my freebie folder is just my little thank you folder where i put things for my subscribers just because i am so grateful i'm sorry i just had to open the door olivia's just finished play school so they're back. <laughs> I didn't realise that, that there's how much time I've gone. I should have filmed it, uh, started filming a little bit earlier. But I'm sure we'll be fine. 
So yeah, I was just thinking around them little envelopes while everyone was getting settled and yeah, all sorted out. So, I hope everybody is well. We're still on lockdown. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's like around the rest of the world, but yeah, here in England, we're still on lockdown. But yeah, my youngest daughter, she stays, does lockdown here with the kids, which is lovely for me. But, um, yeah, otherwise it's boring on your own, isn't it, when you can't go nowhere, you can't meet up with your mates. <laughs> Not that I do that kind of thing, I'm all about her. <laughs> for me, <laughs> lockdown is the same as just normal, really, because... The <laughs> I don't really go out that much or do anything anyway. But, um, yeah, for the young ones, they do, don't they? But, yeah, so I hope everybody is well and coping with whatever situation you're in. We just try and um, make it fun, you know? That's why I like it that, um, my daughter and the kids stay with me because it is a lot of fun having the children about. It's just a shame that we couldn't all do it, like with my eldest daughter and her three as well. But kids do have to go to school even though we're on, back on lockdown. It's not the same rules as before, so the little ones are at school. And, um, yeah, we've got enough room for when they stay, when it's not lockdown rules and they stay over, we like sort of make do. One of my sofas pulls out into a bed and everyone sleeps everywhere. But yeah, doing that full time wouldn't be good. And she she has to take the kids to school. So it's out of the question. But I do miss them because I can't see them like I normally do. But uh, it's the sacrifices that everybody's making, isn't it, right now? I'm lucky that I've got as much family around me as I have. So, yeah, I'm just grateful for that. But I know the rules are different all over the world. So, yeah, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope it's not stressy or making you feel fed up. Right. So, there's our each of our envelopes. And what I wanted to do is, I'm going to have them like this, so that you can open these, they're connected to this flap here, and then that opens and there's something, you can put something in there, and I want to have a back coming round. So I've got some paper, a nice bit of 12 by 12 paper and it, I want this to have a cover wrapping round so it's been positioned about there for the back and the front and then I'm thinking, I was thinking we can have it coming round as well if it's going to be a folder or if it's going to be sewn into a journal, then this side will be the bit going into the journal. So, we'll go, we'll do both. And then I'll decide what one we're going to use on this one. Right. So, let's get a pencil. And, right. Well, I'm going to just lightly mark there, and then lightly mark there, and if it was wrapping around, I would cut there to have a small bit coming round, but that might be going in the journal. Pop this in here. I've put this in here already because I've got kids running about so 
we might be a bit sloppy starty. I'll try not to. But you will know what it's like. So I've cut the bottom off. And now I've got to cut these two top bits that look oh no. It does look alright. For a minute I thought that looks way wider than it should be. They ain't. Right. So coming this side I think. that one and that one so there is our little book here but That could be part of the journal, and then this opens like this, and is a little other bit of the journal. So I think what I would do is take this bit and make it a little bit smaller. It should go that way. In which case, I'm going to score again, because that's where it's going up to, but I think I'm going to score again, just to have a little bit of wiggle room, so to speak. Right, let's judge it. If that's our thing... Yeah, we don't need that much. Maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, let's see. Quarter maybe. Yeah, I can score it there at a quarter. Right, yeah, I'm up here with that. So that will be where it's bound into the book. And that previous crease there, I'm pretty much can burnish out in a second. So this will be. This will be one part of the signature and then we'll do something over here in this part of the signature. I'm preferring that idea. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just get that first piece out. I've got to rub out the pencil marks as well. up here with them and then this bit we'll get that crease right in nicely now now we've got rid of the other one so yeah instead of doing doing the um, crease at the width again because I've done the width of the envelope Right, so instead of doing the crease at the width of the envelope again, like I did there, um, I've changed my mind and I've gone another quarter of an inch over so that this is in one part of the journal with, and it'll have our envelopes doing all kinds of little doodahs 
and this is the other bit over here and what I'll do I might as well do it now I've got a scoreboard out and that is scoring a nice pocket at an inch nice and simple at an inch right And yeah, we'll decorate that. Uh, it's a nice long full length pocket that we can where we are. It's a nice big space to tuck something. Yeah, and this is our half that we're gonna be working on at the moment. Right. So this now, that's the signature. We open this up and then we've got these guys. So I was thinking having this envelope stuck to here maybe with let's look. Because I can I can't attach it by this because I want them attached. That's how I'm attaching these. So, we could have it round the other way of them flapping about. I could have another flap if I wanted to. And then we've got. No, I'm probably going to do it round that way, I'm thinking. So, we'll pop them to one side. These are going to be sticking together and making little flaps. So, do I want to do that yet? Right, so before I get anything stuck down, I need to ink all around again, something else to ink around. Um, and yeah, I was just weighing it up in my mind how I want it because I wasn't sure. Now, if you didn't want it bound into a journal, do the same here, but just do the width of the book there, of the envelope rather, there and there, not adding the quarter of an inch how I have. And then you can sort of cut a flap like that, or you could do it around that way, have extra flap so that you can go like that, you know. It, um, and then you'd make it exactly the same. But... I want this to go into a journal. I just think it had a nice touch. And yeah, it's um it gives you journal all these flippy out, foldy out different style pockets and just makes it really interesting, doesn't it? And although I do like to do them, I don't think I've done one using cardstock for a while. So yeah, it'd just be a nice little change for me using cardstock instead of just paper in a journal. I do apologise about the noise. Um, I've got everyone in and out at the minute. So yeah, I do apologise in and out. Um, I'm stopping and starting a little bit, which is doing me as in. I hate doing that because I lose my train of thought. I don't know what I've said, what I haven't said, what I've just been thinking in my brain. And so, yeah, <laughs> I do apologise. We've just put a film on for the children um, where she's just been a play school and that. Hopefully, she'll be a little bit tired and settle down and they'll have a little snooze. But, yeah. I wanted to get something done because I've been oh, I've been exhausted all week for no reason at all. Not done anything. But yeah, but I felt absolutely exhausted all week and so I've been putting it off and putting it off. I've got out the three envelopes days and days ago and put them on my desk. Knew what I wanted to do. Woke up one day and thought, yeah, I'm doing that. But um 
then I was too tired to just felt exhausted so I've been putting it off and putting it off but I need to crack on tonight otherwise nothing gets done right this bit not that you're gonna see this bit but just in case I change my mind which could do I'm, I've just thought of something else of how I could have this bit on the other side oh right and right let's go around this way now yeah I've just thought of maybe having a little thing here as well but we'll see I'm not really sure but I do like doing these tape free envelopes because it, it's amazing how versatile free envelopes can be and if uh, there is a playlist if you're a new subscriber I have got a playlist of this series that I do um, now and again we'll take three envelopes and um, yeah I do like having a play around and trying to think of different ideas where just three envelopes can be transformed because we've all got envelopes haven't we and we've all got them of all different sizes and that that's why I wanted to change I normally do my own, do them with three envelopes at the same size like I think most of the time but I thought I oh, will use two small and one long one and see what we can come up with and then I thought of this right and so yeah hopefully it will be nice and simple because they normally are we, I don't normally have trouble they're normally pretty simple but end up just m making a nice little addition that's a little bit different right so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these together by the flap first so that I know what size I need to cut and papers to cover it all up so I'll just do this I'll cover this in the glue because the smaller ones the flap overlaps on onto this flap so I'll glue them glue this bit then sort of cut them to size right Okay, so just line it up like that. And that one. Oops. Right. Oh. I forgot about that gap <laughs> but it's fine right so we've got that there and that there and they move independently which is what I wanted I didn't want them getting stuck and then I can pop in with a bit stronger glue at the end where I need it as the strongest Right. Um, let's see. This one seems to be really stuck down fast. I'll just get some ear where it's not. Right. And oh.
um, yeah, that should dry in a couple of Right, so they're nice and glued now. I'm just gonna take these bits off. Just to get them out of our way. Right. And we wanna cut this as well because this will be pockets. So we've got those there. This is gonna be pockets and that's a pocket. But I'm not gonna go there. I think I'm gonna come up and have a smaller top pocket and a nice deep um, bottom pocket I'm thinking so I've got some nice pieces of paper and I could have that as my bottom pocket and I've got more that I can have as my top pocket so I'm just going to grab a couple of bits right so what I think I'm going to do I'm going to cut along here right, um, just to make our pockets and oh, I do hope this comes out alright <laughs> it should it should right I could even take a sliver just a tiny sliver off of each one from in between I might not even ta have to take it off of each one I've took the tiniest look can you see right. I think that it will make it easier for me and then I've got this bit and turn it round just to see just to mark where I need it no. And right, looking at how wide our pocket is going to be. Probably about there. Right. So I'll just grab my cutter. Right, so I'm just going to cut this, the gap first. And then I'm going to score where I've marked with the pencil and then cut our first pocket right. oh if it stops flying away right so we'll score down there And right, actually, that's going to be our bottom pocket. Right, so I know exactly where I need to cut now, which is there. And right, we'll just do that. I might have to stop in a minute to make a <laughs> to make a shopping list because my son's going shopping for us. But um yeah he he don't know what he's got to get so I might have to have a little quick couple of minute break when I tell him what we need because I don't want to go it's way too cold for me outside today yeah um it just makes me feel ill right. 
so we've got this nice big deep pocket that's going to come in from the top with this one and then we're going to have a much littler pocket which may even be a little window frame I think on that one Right. Oh, and yeah, I'm sure this will stick on just fine. Use I'll use the big flap and stick it to one side, and then just a little bead of glue around the edges. And we have a nice deep pocket and I've used this thin Christmas paper so it won't add too much weight because we are binding this into a journal. Right and I'm just gonna, I want to dirty it up a little bit more so I'm just grabbing my brush and gonna go all the way around the edges on both sides. and just make it all a bit aged all around and yeah I kind of like the effect I just think it just makes it look all a nice bit older even go over the white everywhere yeah I like that better right. yep and just a little bit of walnut stain I'll use the same dobber because I just want a little bit even now just gives it another little bit of looking a little bit older just here and there right yeah that's it I don't need any more than that right So, let me think, that is where we're sewn in, oh, right, right, so here's where we're working, so we can either have it glued down here, and these bits going on, or it glued down here, and these bits going on, and something else under there, because yeah, if it's that way, obviously I'll have something else there, I'm thinking of having it that way. No, change my mind. <laughs> no, I'm going to go there where I originally thought. Yeah. So we're going to be sticking that to there. Well, as our nice deep pocket. And then that bit will be something else. Right. Let's pop that over there. And that. And I just need to glue that flat. And so, yeah, this it might, well, I think it definitely will be in two parts. This, um, episode of um, Take Free Envelopes because um, there's quite a bit to do right. I 
Okay. That's glued down nicely. And then that is how it's going to form the pocket. So we just need a bit of glue running along the bottom and up that one side. So just getting it started, that's it. along this side nice as close to the edge as I can get it and right I can see a couple of gaps there we go right oh and oh I'm just popping my pin back in there we go so we've got our first nice deep pocket I like that right so up here Just to save that catching, I think I'm going to take a little another sliver off. got a gap there now but that is what I want you won't see it as much but we will get we will get this um, get covered but it just allows that little bit extra of movement that we might have struggled to get right so we want a bit for the top right so i'm going to cut a piece of this off of one of the pages of trims from my freebie folder and it's a nice nice depth there to make a pocket pretty much perfect might have to take a little bit more off once I get it in position and we see right only a tiny bit it's going to have to come off right so I'm going to come from the end first take it off that end yeah that'd be fine and right let's measure we can come to there and I'm just going to score that and see where that takes us Which 
will be there, right. Oh, I'll pop it on that way, I'll find it easier. Take some off the top. And then, right, what we're left with nice Christmassy pocket there at the top. And I don't think I'm going to make it a window because I really like um, the pattern. So. I'm going to keep it just as a normal pocket coming in from the top. And um, yeah, I think it looks really lovely. Um, and so you have all the niceness of um, the trims, but there's no weight there or anything, and no bulk because it's just paper. So, I thought it would be a good addition for Christmas projects when they can get bulky when we get a bit carried away, can't they? Um, So again, I'm going to stick the flap first and then add on our thingy. Or I'll magnet it that way up. Yeah, I prefer that bit. Right. Okay, grab our paper, everything else out of the way. That's wrong here. It's coming out. I'll have to give that a trim. I don't know. Right. That's it. Let's that down nicely. Right. And then that will stick like that. I just need a thin bead of glue again. I really like how we're coming along so far. Right, so all the way down this bottom. Apologise for the noise in the background. It's um, the kiddies watching little film. It's not having the desired effect though. They haven't got it. <laughs> they haven't fell asleep yet. Right, sorry, I'm just trying to get that in the top. Right. Right, that's a nice little pocket. Up the top, so our pockets are done. So I'm liking that so far. Right. And now we've got to cover these. Right, I have just remembered, now I've stuck that down and made that look all nice, that the journal this is going in is like an old-fashioned Christmas and this is too modern. So I'm going to take this off 
and find a paper that I like better that's not that I like better I love this paper but for this journal this is the wrong one so I've got to find something else right so I've got this I think it's much more traditional and I'm going to put that there like that it's not really old-fashioned but it's got gingerbread men candy canes and that which are timeless I think so yeah I'm gonna ink this and stick it on there where that was but then I think we're gonna have to pause now because as you can hear the children um, and that um, so I'm gonna leave it there of where we've got so far so I know I've done this bit <laughs> that bit twice which makes it longer but this is how it's gonna be later on so i'm going to leave it there and come back with part two when it's there's not as much going on so i do apologize but thank you very much for joining me i really do appreciate you um and yeah we'll be back for a better longer part with more um hopefully get a lot more done next time so i'll see you very soon i love you loads thank you all if you're not already a subscriber please do subscribe it really does help me out and it does mean the world to me as well so thank you i love you bye